All right, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top, beautiful day. Here in paradise in the end times. It is Memorial Day. It is a decline of the American Empire day. 2021 as Monday, May 31st. A spectacularly gorgeous day in the end times. I'm heading up to Brother Basil's to get some medicine for my ailing apple trees on this beautiful evening. Memorial Day. Thinking about things that have died memoriam of dreams that have died that's what I am what I've been doing a lot of thinking about today is God, like the fucking death on this road uh, yep watching another fucking dream slip through my goddamn fingers And what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, death. Death of hopes, death of dreams, death of fucking fantasies. Another fucking manifestation down the fucking toilet. This should be the happiest day, night of, certainly this should be the happiest night or, well, eve of the happiest night of my life or, I don't know, somewhere between 2 and 61 years. I have been counting down the days till June 1st, 2021. with a chaotic dream, a chaotic fantasy. I love how they put Don Quixote's name. It is the perfect adjective to describe my life. The life of a fool, you know, I am led by the fool card. Sancho Panza. Anyone who does not know what the Tarot Fool card looks like, I highly suggest you look up the Tarot Fool card and uh, see if you see anybody you recognize on the Fool card. I bet you will. Uh, chaotic, meaning foolish, futile. Uh, creating the pastoral dream, getting, uh, creating the pastoral dream for the mythical Dulcinea, and the mythical Dulcinea who never appears appears in uh, 1500 pages and this romanticized image that the fool Don Quixote uh, has of this woman <laughs> oh god that Sancho Panza actually knows uh, the Dulcinea and uh, does give readers the uh, the true reading of Don Quixote's vision of his heartthrob that carries him through life uh, as he tilts at windmills in his life of knight errantry. <laughs> oh, fuck. There's Life of Knight Errantry with his little sidekick Sancho Panza and the misadventures of the Knight Errant, the fool 
Don Quixote and his little fucking romantic visions of his Dulcinea just waiting till he and his Dulcinea can finally his twin flame soulmate who of course has exactly zero intention of ever uh, getting uh, together and joining Don Quixote on his fool's quest to uh, take on the horrors of what even 500 years ago stood for global industrial civilization uh, that, that Don Quixote bumbling through fucking life but Don Quixote did uh, Basil was telling me about these columbines I have to stop and look at these gorgeous columbines you know on the tarot card the fool is, you know, whistling Dixie and smelling the flowers. Smelling the flowers. Oops, but well we got people coming. So I got to remember where these are to come get these. Get these flowers. Where are they? They're right, right past the blue tarp. I want to come up. I cannot believe we have traffic on this road. Do. There's red and yellow columbine. This is a perfect example of, you know, Don Quixote uh, stopping to admire the flowers on his fool's journey with Sancho Panza and the rest of the world, thinking, what in the fuck is that dude doing? which is exactly what the people in the car behind me are thinking. They're thinking, oh, that's that fucking dude with the big teddy bear on top of his cabin out there uh, taking pictures of wildflowers. You know, I, I'm sure I've mentioned this before about uh, how I took some you know, I was a psychology minor in, uh, in college, and uh, so, of course, being a college student taking psych classes, we got to, uh, you know, take all of these fucking little personality tests to see if, you know, whether we were bipolar or maybe we were borderline personality. You know, trying to figure out how we were going to fuck up our own lives and uh, people, people's lives who we met along the way with our various uh, pathogenic, is that the word, personality disorders. And uh, I did not realize that heterosexuality was a personality type that my number one personality trait is heterosexuality. Uh, <laughs> imagine that, your old doomsday lonely heart having as his number one personality trait, being a horn dog, his never ending quest to find the woman of his dreams. Uh, right there probably told me more about my future pain and suffering that I that my number one personality trait was heterosexuality <clears throat> but they had like an asterisk beside it that uh, that I was a real strange bird that I even though my number one uh, personality trait was heterosexuality that I also had that, that I appreciated things like flowers and sunsets and that I, uh, you know, appreciated beautiful things in nature and had no fucking interest whatsoever. As a southern white male, I had no fucking interest in your goddamn guns and sports and all of this shit. So even though 
I uh, have no fucking interest in uh, all of these goddamn clueless moron fucking things that, uh, you know, most southern white males uh, that you think of when you think of heterosexuals uh, and I, uh, love to admire flowers and sunsets and rainbows, uh, that I was a very strange, uh, number one personality, uh, trait being a heterosexual. I was quite honored by that, that my yin and my yang, I, uh, learned at age 20 that I have a very well-balanced yin and yang, uh, but I have spent my fucking life trying to find, trying to find my dulcinea to come along with me on my chaotic journey and, uh, actually believing that uh, that that Dulcinea uh, was going to join me on my chaotic quest. And, uh, now, she has never said to this very minute, uh, Dulcinea has never told me yet she is not going to keep our date with destiny on uh, June 1st 2021 but I'm taking a wild guess uh, since Dulcinea has ghosted me and is not speaking to me anymore <coughs> something tells me uh and that Dulcinea will not be uh, on uh, joining me on my chaotic quest to enjoy the flowers in the end times. Uh, <laughs> but who the fuck knows? She has a different personality type than I do. Uh, Dulcinea. I'm, I'm assuming uh, that Dulcinea is a heterosexual, but she has a different personality profile than I do, and uh, I guess she's not as interested in looking at beautiful wildflowers and sunsets and taking aimless drives down beautiful back roads in the country but uh <coughs> anyway let the heartache begin hambone another fucking dream dies on memorial day you can remember another dead fucking fantasy Anyway, for anybody else out there on a chaotic quest holding the flame for your Dulcinea, I <laughs> uh, wish you luck, brother. I wish you fucking luck. Because the universe is a cruel and capricious place and does not suffer fools lightly. Bye guys and doomer chicks. <laughs>